it's out of the water, is it? Yeah, you're going to bury it. Oh. Oh no. Hey guys, we just arrived down at Auckland City. We're going away for a five day trip with some of our crew. There's 13 of us going away. Um, we're just about to load the barrier. Um, we've popped a great barrier. It's a bit of a slow process putting all the fish pros and explorers on the ferry. We'll go for a bit of a walk around and see who's coming on this trip. Steve here, he's just back in his wagon in there. We've got Rob from Wangarei. He's come down for the trip. He's done it once before, so he's joining us again. Hey, Rob. Yep. So, he's got a trophy. What have we got up here? Another trophy. The Allen. And a heap of wood pros as well. Our crossing's about four and a half hours to Great Barrier. Um, well worth the, the ride just to take in all the surroundings and relax and get in the zone for heading over there. Alan, Charles. So, good group of us, all plenty of experience and go for a good weekend away to have lots of fishing memories and good times off the water too. So we'll keep you updated as the trip goes on. It wasn't that good, it just doubled up as the broke. Looking good, Ash. No way. This is what it's all about for us. Getting away together. Still loading up. We're getting there. Steve, you're not fishing the comp? Oh, yeah, yes, oh. I am. Go on up, late entry fee. Oh, yeah. oh. I never heard nothing about any late entry fee. Oh, we can change the rules before we're talking about it. Bruce is pulling it all out with that. Well, he's pouring.
Well, we've made it over the Great Barrier and it looks a beautiful day today. Pretty chilly. Uh, most of the crew have already headed out. So Cooper and I are just about to launch the two Fish Pro trophies and head out for a fish and see what everyone's getting up to out there. So I've gone full winter mode, got all my winter kit on. This helps me stay a bit warmer because we're down to about so she's definitely getting a bit colder as we approach our winter months so it's not going to stop us from going fishing it's all about just keeping warm so you can enjoy it out there so while I'm out there fishing today I'll probably talk to you a little bit about what clothing I'm wearing as well so you, you guys too can be out there doing what we do beautiful conditions forecasted for light winds today it's an absolute glorious part of the country to fish we normally only get over here once a year and with the expense of coming over here it's not something you can do every few months when you want to so we sort of save it up to really enjoy it when we get a moment to head away with all our mates so we've got a little bit of a friendly fishing comp with a bit of banter camaraderie so each day we're over here we'll have a little weigh in and see who catches the biggest snapper we always respect the boating rules and um, do our best to not up upset any of the locals last night we went up to the local fishing club and had dinner and just support the local business and hang out with everyone get to know more about the area it's all part of these adventures Cooper looks like he's all kitted out he's got a safe face mask on ready for anything you'll see we've got reel covers on all our reels as well we're pretty exposed to the elements with the salt water so it really pays to protect your gear and also secure your rods and reels down so you don't lose them when you're riding along having fun on your sea doo so no point in mucking around, time to get into it, eh? Well, we're at Spot X. And gonna drop down a bait. Gonna use one of the big seven inch King shrimps, camo colour, it's a pretty good go-to colour, fishing 53 metres, so caught plenty of quality fish here before, so let's see if they're on the bite. Very pleasing to see the forecast is right and there is no wind. Probably a little bit over prepared. It was a bit of wind chill yesterday, so we thought we'd go full winter mode today. Seeing it's averaging about five degrees Celsius plus wind chill, and we feel like we're heating up already, so might have to take off some layers. I've got the shark skin balaclava on. It's got a bib around the neck as well, so no water's gonna drip down your neck. Got the gloves as well with three of the fingers free so I can still tie my knots. Pretty necessary part of your kit if you're out here fishing to make sure your fingers are still free to do activities like that. Then I've got, you might be able to see them, the sea -Doo water shoes. Nice and comfy for my riding. As far as my underlayer that I'm wearing in the winter months, I've got the sharkskin long winter paddling pants. And then I've got the short sleeve climate control with the zip down the front, the silver and black top 
all these products are available on my website and I ship them all around the world. Then my upper layer I've got the Rooster high fit trousers and then the Rooster Pro Aqua Fleece top and as I speak we're getting some interest in our bait as it gets to the bottom. So that's most of my kit and then I either wear my Sea-Doo goggles or one of the safe face masks and for this adventure I'm doing some testing on the windshield that comes on the Explorer I've fitted on my trophy. I've already used it a few times already on the Explorer but I thought I'd test it out a bit more in the conditions that we fish offshore here in New Zealand. We're always offering feedback to the engineering team up in Canada. Might try resetting this bait again. Didn't really cast it out in the correct direction so I didn't get down to the bottom long enough. So I'll wind up and we'll do it all over again. Onto a string puller. That big bait, they can't resist it. What a way to start the morning. Oh yes. Beautiful conditions. Get one fish in the cooler and then I'll go film some of the team and see what they're all up to. Never get sick of the soft baiting. So much more sporting. He's coming up easy so I'm not sure what it's going to be or if he's getting followed up. He's not a snapper. He's a poor eye. He's a big boy. We'll put him back. That's why it was a different fight. Ooh, good start for today. You can go back and get it. Done. First time joining us at Great Barrier. Good work, John. Come around here. Yeah, yep. boy. I'll nice. sort that out for you. Just stand beside her. Yep. Okay, we've got 6.4 kilo for John. Good work, man. What a good start. Yeah. Rob's tail sticking out the back. Oh, show off, Rob. Oh, 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 Should work, okay. Oh, big boy. 9.55. I wasn't expecting that. Cracker. Yeah, it was a sneaky one, wasn't it? Good work. Can I hold it? Oh, that's what a 20 pound feels like. Okay, Charles. Hey. 4.55. Good work, Charles. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, yes. 5.85 Neville. Good work. Is that all the big boys? Yeah. Nice work, team. I'll get some photos, eh?
After a great day on the water yesterday with perfect conditions, we've changed it up a bit. We're going to have rain and wind today, so we're fishing a little bit closer to land. And I've just gone up the coast a couple of k's from where we launched, found a bit of fish sign, and looks like they're on the bite straight away. Yesterday saw a few nice fish caught from our crew. One of our guys landed one over 20 pound and that was only a few k from the ramp too so just shows you don't have to go too far when fishing these special places that we get to fish. I'm not going to catch much with a whole lot of seaweed on there so quickly get that off put a new bait on so I'm using the 7 inch Crazy Legs Orange Belly. Gets heaps of action in the water. Just got to get that bait right up there on that jig head. This here is what I'm looking for. All this fish sign off the bottom. Those arches there. So I'm going to shut off the engine over that line. Decent cast. See the rain in the distance. Oh, we're already onto one. Didn't take long. Barely sunk through the water column there. It's right on the top. It's only a tiddler. It shows they're here. meters of water this guy was right up high I'll put him back right on the edge of being legal not much of a fillet on a snapper that size just roll that hook out there you can go back try again real solid bait a little bit more durable still nothing big Pretty hot fishing. Settle down buddy, you can go back as well. Size ones come on the bite. I'm catching just one after another. He hit that big bait. Get him in the bin on ice. Eight point six kilo Ooh, water cracker. Good work. Was that only five minutes from the boat ramp? Yeah. That's the way, Glenn. Two dollars worth show of gas. Show us how it's done, eh? Is this another one five minutes from yeah. the boat ramp? 
Good work, Steve. Seven. Seven kilo, nice. 5.05 kilo. Not bad. Nice, everyone else is too shy to bring the, the panties out, eh? <laughs> good. It was good we all got out there anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. Appreciate the nicer days. Team, uh, week, four, team five minutes. Yeah, team five minutes. Yeah. Do you need some verification on that, Neville? 4.2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, is that it? We are off to the pub. <laughs>